That is without doubt the creepiest thing I have ever seen. It's time for Picture Roulette. Now for anyone unfamiliar, Picture Roulette is a series that we've done a couple of times on this channel already. And the idea is fairly simple. Basically, I open up the photo gallery on my phone, I scroll through all the photos without looking, I stop on a random one, and whatever one I stop on, I have to tell the story behind that photo or video. So, photo gallery open, I have to pull down to go in the right direction, so look the other way, and... That is a photo of me in Cambodia, in Angkor Wat. So, I will tell you the story behind this photo. Let's talk about 2018. I've already mentioned this a lot in videos recently, so I won't go over it in too much detail, but at the end of 2017, Charlie and I moved to Australia for a year, and in 2018, we decided that when we were gonna travel back to the UK, we were gonna do so via Southeast Asia. So the route back went something like this. First, we traveled from Sydney to Malaysia, which is where I got the video of this creepy construction mannequin. We then went from Malaysia to Bali, because you know, I'm trying to be a creator, of course we went to Bali. From Bali, we traveled to Vietnam, which is where we spent the bulk of our time, and is also where I got that picture in the living room that I showed you recently. Then we traveled from Vietnam to Cambodia, which is where this picture was taken. There's some stops after that, but that's not necessary for this. <laughs> So in order to travel from Vietnam to Cambodia, we traveled up the Mekong Delta, which is where all that footage was shot. And we landed in the capital city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh. In order to get from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap though, we traveled via bus and it's from Siem Reap where you can see Angkor Wat. <laughs> Charlie's just got back from work and she's now working from home, so we have to disturb her. Oh, you working? Yes. Are you free for a minute? Do you know where that picture was taken? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually remember now. It was, um, yeah, a temple in Angkor Wat. And if I say Angkor Wat to you, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> so how's your day at work going? Uh, good. Do you reckon... Uh, this is helping you no. get on with your work? No, this isn't helping. It never does. Bye-bye. You want me to go? Yes, bye-bye. All right, fine. So Charlie said sunrise. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Angkor Wat, but it's actually the largest religious structure in the world. You must be familiar with it. It's, um, it's this one. Are you familiar with that? That's a Google image search there. Angkor Wat. So it's basically a giant temple, the biggest religious structure in the world. But the thing is, by the time Charlie and I had got to Cambodia, we were sort of templed out. Everywhere you go in Southeast Asia is covered in beautiful temples. And when you first get there, it's brilliant. But after a while, it feels like you've seen a lot of them. But we had to go to Angkor Wat. It's the biggest in the world. But we had to make the trip different. Temple fatigue. Now, Charlie said the word sunrise and this was one of the things that we were going to do to make this trip to this particular temple stand out not that it needs to trust me it's stunning but one thing we hadn't done at any of the other temples was watch a sunrise so we decided to wake up really early and go and watch a sunrise i'm starting to see a sort of pattern with my content here so we've already established that this is a selfie of me taken at Angkor Wat. And we've also established that this photo was taken in 2018. More specifically, it was taken on the 7th of November, 2018. And more crucially, it was taken at 17 minutes past eight in the morning. So quite early on, but our day actually started much earlier. Are you still working? All day. 
Okay. I'm going to want you to cast your mind back to the 7th of November 2018, which was actually when that picture was taken. Do you remember anything about the morning, like the story of the morning? Yeah, it was like, I think we were woke up at like 2am or something stupid like that. Yeah. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like a 4am, it was definitely earlier. We woke up really early. Because we had to travel to it. So we, I think we, we got into like a... A rickshaw. But yeah, we had our guide, just the two of us. But there was like, once you got off, like we, from our hotel, once you got onto like the main road, there was just this mass like movement towards Angkor Wat. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, so Everyone was going for sunrise. So to put it into context, when you get to Cambodia, you travel to somewhere called Siem Reap. It's the closest town to the temple, but it's still probably, what, 30 minutes away, maybe? I think we travelled for like a good hour or two. Okay. So, but everyone stays in Siem Reap. Yeah. To see Angkor Wat. So sunrise and sunset are a big deal there. Mm. So basically what Charlie is saying is there was a mass exodus at that time in the morning <laughs> yeah. to see the sunrise mm-hmm. at, um, at at Angkor Wat. And, and we got to Angkor Wat quite early on. How would you describe the sunrise? If you, could, if you had to describe oh, it in a word. Can I have two words? You can have two words. Like every colour. Every colour. Like and, every colour you could possibly imagine when went by that's now loads of words the main thing was that the the sunrise was spectacular and that that was pretty much the thing that really stood out to us in our in our entire time in cambodia yeah so it'd be a shame to not see it has to be the best time lapse I have ever taken and I didn't capture a lot of footage that day. I got loads of photos but not an awful lot of footage but I'm so glad I grabbed that shot and we just spent the rest of the day walking around the temples and just taking in everything they had to offer. So that is the story of that photo, which really is the story of the greatest sunset I've ever seen, which now that I've just said that out loud sounds incredibly wet. <laughs> Apologies for that. One last time. Do you remember when we were in Thailand and we got drunk in the night? Yes. Yeah? Do you remember what you ended up doing in the middle of the street all night? Boxing. You ended up boxing all night, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Here's some footage of Charlie boxing. <laughs> <laughs>